<clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakadash, and the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and His unbegotten Son, Ba'ashem, in the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one, Kadash, the whole tongue, and I say Shalom to the uh, elders, Ba'akim, Ba'akof, and I say Shalom. And this is a, another sit down lesson, a quick sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Revelation 12, verse 12. And it reads, This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. And it reads, It says, Therefore uh, rejoice ye heavens, ye that dwell therein, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the deceiver is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth ye have but a short time to rule. Right, so the ultimate deceiver is going to have a short time to rule. That's why he's coming down as much as possible. That's why he's pushing for this, uh, pushing uh, more and more of this alphabet lifestyle, pushing more and more of this democracy, pushing for uh, evilness and wickedness and unrighteous decrees, you know, because he knows he's about to have but a, a short time to rule, you know. So the ultimate deceiver is going to do whatever it takes. You know, they're pushing for this 2030 agenda pushing for this artificial intelligence, pushing for this uh, new uh, currency of the central digital bank currency of this Karagma, end up to the old type agenda, this new type agenda, you know, all forms of currency that uh, moves towards to all forms of uh, unrighteous decrees, you know, iniquity, lawlessness, things that are uh, upside down. Just like it says, Isaiah 29 verse 16, Surely your things is turned upside down and the is pot is clay, you know. Proverbs 29 verse 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, you know. So this ultimate deceiver is going to do whatever it takes to uh, have great wrath because he know he had but a short time to rule, you know. Just like it says in Job 9 uh, verse 24, the earth is given to the wicked, you know, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked and they cover the faces of the just that were, uh, which is the Israelites. You know the ultimate judge, which is the heavenly Father, held by power, and this and this son, and this only begotten son, Hamashiach, have shot, which is well too. They put, they paint that image of that false image of Caesar Borgia, uh, just like it says in First Maccabees uh, three and verse forty-eight. He paint the likeness of his image, that false image of Caesar Borgia. You know the Idumians, the Edomites. You know, so this ultimate deceiver is definitely going to come down with great wrath because he knew he had but a short time to rule. You know. So I'm going to read it again. This is uh, Revelation 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that the will, and them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and all the sea. For the ultimate deceiver is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. Yeah, because he know he had but a short time, you know. A second address 9, verse 5, the beginning of the end, and is being manifested. Second Edges 16 verse 9 for Esau is the end of the world Jacob begins that follow because he's definitely going to come down with ultimately great wrath Because the time is ticking for uh, the wicked uh, kingdom is coming to naught and righteousness is going to be uh, fully established by Yahweh Bashim El Shaq, you know So with that hopefully this uh, quick sit down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Revelations 12 verse 12 And that was the title of the sit down lesson, you know, just a little quick sit down lesson through the spirit power of rest and mercy of Yahweh El Shaq in the heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach Yahushah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one through the whole tongue. And I say Shalom to the uh, elders, while Akim or Akwaf as well, too. And once again, this was just a quick sit down lesson of uh, Revelations uh, 12 and verse 12. And that was the title of the sit down lesson. So, with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to. Take Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakar Kadash. And the Heavenly Father, true name is like Yahweh. And His only begotten Son, Ba'ashem, and the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one, Kadash, the whole tongue. And I say Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.